recording. So we have two different words here. But the first kanji on top. How do you read it? We saw this kanji not that long ago. Hmm. Nakaneru? Ah, uh, sadly, no. This is to, like tomeru. How about the next one? Oh, What's this hai. one? Tomaru. Hai. Tomeru and tomaru. So these two verbs are extremely similar. Um, here is a sentence I would like for you to read using it. Uh, jatsu? Or is that a uh, Jack. Jack. Ah, Jack wa ani o tome. Yeah, yes. tometa. Yeah. You know so, what this means? Jack. So, Jack wa ani o tometa. So, ani stopped. But then what's Jack doing? Specifically, it's saying Jack stopped Annie. Jack wa Annie o tometa. Mm. So this is how tomeru and tomaru is different. So in other words, you're right. Annie wa tomatta. This would mean Annie stopped. So yeah, it's very interesting because in English, we don't actually make a difference. Any stopped means the one stopped is the verb. But if you added something over here, the verb's totally different. Suddenly the one stopping is this thing. Mm. Like a weirdest thing, like I said, but English right there. But in Japanese, they actually use different verbs to illustrate this concept. So if you said Jack wa tometa, that means does not mean Jack stopped. This means Jack stopped something. And the something has just been dropped. Jack wa tometa. Ani wa tomatta. But for our case, we really only need no hmm. tomeru, which means to stop something. But yeah, very confusing when the word in English fully depends on um, context. Okay, so this right here is a little bit of a refresher grammar point, which is zu. Um, for example, Jack ga tomeru no mo kikazu, ani wa jime ni oriteku. So it's actually, the zoo is a refresher. It's, it's supposed to be a refresher, but I don't think um, the sentence is a refresher sentence. Uh, <laughs> but what do you think, Jack ga tomeru mo no mo kikazu? Oh, do you know what kiku means? This is kika, kiku, right here. Kiku. Uh, it's not to listen. Is it to yes. ask? It is to listen. It actually is to listen in this context. As you can see, there's no ni going mm. on. We just have, oh, um, right. we have mo. Mo kiku. So the subject of the sentence, do you think it's ani wa or jaku ga? Has to be ani. It is ani. Because ani is supposed to kiku, but she kikazes. So what did ani do or not do? She didn't listen. Yep, she didn't listen. Who did she not listen to? Jack. Uh, so yeah. Jack. Uh, and what was Jack trying to get her to do? What, what did she not listen? Like, what kind of... What did she not listen to Jack uh, saying? Tomeru no mo. Hi. So, basically, to stop... Yeah. Um, to stop it's basically... So yeah. stop what she's it, doing. Yeah. So, Jack... So, she doesn't listen to Jack who wants her to stop. Would be a... Way to explain that, because uh, it's not really, it's, it's like, wants, I guess we need that in English, but want is not in here. Just Jack trying to stop. Jack stopping Annie. She doesn't I, listen to that. And oh, what does she do? calling me. Oh, no. Give me two seconds. Awesome. I pause. Zoom our recording. So, so we know Annie didn't listen to Jack. So what did she do? Mm, she... Uh, jimen ni. Jimen. Yep. Jimen ni. Sounds familiar. Mm, you probably have seen jimen Yeah, that's oriru plus iku. Oriteiku. Mm, to go down. Yep, she goes down. And the iku, jimen, hmm. well, the jimen is just the location she ends up at after she goes down. Where do you think she ends up at once oh, she gets down the okay. ladder? <laughs> what do you think? The location, Jimen. So, so, 
So demon comes from earth and surface. That's what it is, demon. For example, ba-men means a screen, I think. I can't, that looks a little wrong. Probably pronouncing it wrong. But men means like surface. So screen has men in it and things like that. Um, so jimin is earth's surface. So she goes down to the earth's surface. Do you remember why iku is here? Iku. So it's like to go or to move. So like to move down. Yes. Or yeah. So iku does mean to go. However, te iku has the insinuation that she's basically getting away from whoever's brain we are getting the information from. So basically, our camera of the story follows Jack. He's not our narrator. We have a third person narrator, but we're always like, we're like something sitting on Jack's head. We're like a little like slime. That's where we are. So wherever Jack is, that tends to be our focal point of um, stuff. So that means basically Annie is going away from Jack as she goes down. So it just lets us know, in case we forgot, that Jack is up in the treehouse and not down on the G-men. So if it said orite kuru, then that would mean our point of view is probably at the putteradan. Putteradan is like, oh, it's a little girl starting to come down. Huh. Hi. Okay. Do you know what this is? Uh, to oh. meet. Uh, you, you, something like that. Remember, being something short. Close. It means ao. Ao hi. Hi. Ao means to meet. So this is a little refresher again. Yo ni. So in Japanese, there are similes rather than using the English word like. They use yo ni as like. Um. So when you're talking about mm. similes with verbs, it's yo ni. Because ni is the way in which you do the verb. For example, can you read this sentence for me? Uh, okamiri Wait, no bashi yo ni. Oh. This is some kind of... Why it this is wasn't no. deleted. Uh, so, komori. Oh, okay. Hai. Komori yo ni tobu. Hai. Komori no yo ni tobu. So... Hmm, what does this mean? Wings bat like a bat. Something so like that. wings isn't in here, but where is the what bat is in here? So we have like a bat, we tobu. Tobu is a verb. What do you think tobu means? Oh uh, hi, to fly. Yes. So komori no yo ni tobu would mean to fly like a bat. You can also use this like just like we do in English to mean like like meeting a friend. How do you think we'd say like oh. meeting a friend in Japanese? Um, ao to no ao yo ni tomodachi. So this means uh nothing because tomodachi is a noun mm -hmm. and ni goes with verbs so there's there's not enough information here to make much sense of it well, want to try again how not do you think you'd say like um, would it be mm, tomodachi uh, yo ni um yo ni ao this would mean uh, meeting like a friend, which is totally fine. Perfectly good. Um, my goal is tomodachi ni aoyo ni, but I probably should have had a better example sentence in here that had a verb as the verb yo ni that no wouldn't be here. Tomodachi ni aoyo ni would mean like meeting a friend. Just like we're here, this is um, like a bat. Wait. Flying like a bat. So, meeting like a friend. Hmm. I'm just going to go over here real fast. I'll see what we got. Okay. So, it is what I was saying earlier. I was like, 
so yeah i should have had an example sentence here that used a verb for that um yeah tomoda shini ao yoni so yeah yoni just means like so this is like a bat right here like a bat or you wanted like meeting a friend like a bat bat hi um what's this verb again that is oh nice to me yep how about this verb tomeru. Hi, tomeru. um do you know what this is we haven't um focused on the kanji yet for this word i would guess it's tomodachi it is tomodachi yep and it means friend so right here this is tomo tomo and tomodachi Oh, wow, this is a long sentence. We've seen the first yeah, half but... before. You actually have already read this. But let's go read mm. it all together. Hi. Um, Yamero, Ani, Jack, Ga, Tomeru, no, Moki, Kazu, Ani, Wa, Sa, Sa, Ji, Sa, 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 To, Sa, So. Sasato. 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 Perfect. So first off, let's read the very last clause of this sentence. And our subject is still Aniwa. Yep. It is like chikai, but it's a verb. It is to do chikainess. To do um interesting kind of uh, kind of like chikai ni chikaku naru uh, <laughs> is chikazuku what does chikai mean so do you like remember the pterodon mm, chikai uh, you know what chikai means too close yes specifically Close. closeness so chikazuku means to get close to get closer so who is getting closer doing the verb? Is it Annie or Putradon? It should be Annie. Yes. So what is Annie getting closer to? She's getting closer to Putradon. Yes, exactly. So Annie is getting closer to the Putradon. And we describe the way in which she's getting closer with Yoni. Nakayoshi no asamadachi ni. What does that mean? Mm, so she's getting closer. Nakayoshi. Nakayoshi no tomodachi. So she's getting closer like the comradeness of uh of tomodachi of your no nakayoshi. The most important part here so I like, would say is ao. Mm. Oh, oh like meeting me. oh. a friend. Yes. Specifically, Comrades. meeting a friend uh, that you have good comradeness with, you get along well with. Mm. Uh, versus like a friend perhaps that you fight with. But, so mm. Nakayoshi isn't really needed in here, but they're just using that to add flavor. So get, there's a friend you get along with. Do you know what Marude is telling us? Marude? Um... Marude. It's very similar to the yoni. Mm. Marude. It means as if or almost as if. if. Almost as if. So if you were to translate that bottom section altogether, it is almost as if she's meeting a friend that she gets along with well. She gets closer to the putradon. So it's 
just makes it even more obvious that she d- is not actually Tomodachi with the Putteradon. Hi. But they're adding my day. Okay. Um, do you know what Sasato means? It's a sound effect. There's a to at the end. Sasato. So what do you think this is modifying? Uh, Jimen or Oridu? Sasato. So it should modify the Oridu. Yes, we're modifying the oridu. So sasa basically means like promptly. Sasato. So rather than using to, like up here, right when she doesn't listen, she goes down. They're using sasato because um just being okay. So right, right here, right after she she does this, she does the next action. So she basically mm. there's no delay. In other words, sasato. Um, okay, so I think you know all the parts of this. So, oh, yamero. So you know yameru. Uh, <laughs> so yameru and tomeru are like the same word. Uh, they both mean stop. Mm. To stop something. Uh, yameru means you stop. It is an order. So, stop it! Now, now you can tell me what this whole sentence means. <laughs> Yamero Ani, so like stop Ani. Jack told uh, Stomater which cousin. So Jack told Ani stop, but she didn't listen. Ani went down the rope ladder to the location very promptly. Marude, as if going. As if going to Yoni Puteradon. So as if going to the Puteradon in a like a friend who's your comrade. Exactly. Basically going to the But you forgot the owl part. As if meeting, oh, like meeting a friend. Who's your Puteradon, who's like a comrade. Nice. So you're a little confused on what G Man means? Because you meant, I you said the same thing earlier. What do you think G-men means specifically? It does not uh, mean the, the word place. place where you're going. It, that would uh. be actually um, like Adesaki or something. There's a lot of words that mean destination, even Ikusaki, something like that. This does not mean place. It, it The place she's aiming for is attached with the particle ni. Hey. G-men ni oriteiku. However, G-men is a normal noun. We even have a word in English that has the exact same meaning, which is ground. Oh, it's like the floor. <laughs> yes, exactly. Specifically, it is the surface mm. of the earth is the direct meaning. So you wouldn't really use demon if you're like in a gym, for example, and you're like you're fighting people in here and you land on the ground in a gym. You probably wouldn't use demon unless you had like an earthy floor gym. Like it does insinuate mm. it's the ground, like the out ground, ground. outside. So Hi. she's climbing down to the ground. Hi. Perfect then. Um, okay. Do you remember how this is pronounced? It, so, um, they all look familiar for sure. Do. It, My hint is that mm. it means year. Ah, uh, then. Yep. How about this word? Cool. Nice. And the last one? Uh, Onitsan. Perfect. Nice. Um, okay. So we got, let me, sorry. Uh, this one. This one you struggled with earlier. Uh, Kyoryu. Yeah, perfect. Nice. Um, so do you know this one? Mm, Kiku. Yeah, Kiku, nice. And what else we got scared? Oh, have to do this one. Do you remember what this is? Ah, uh, Zukan. Nice. And this guy? Oh, no, the one with the uh, bus hitting something example. Oh, oh see, painting. That's my... uh, this is painting, you're right. It is it. As long as you know the meaning, that's like 90% of the work. Okay, so we've finished chapter three. And 
What I was thinking mm. we'd do is that we try rereading the chapter with all the kanji that you already know. So you see, look at that, no kanji. <laughs> and then we're also practicing um, uh, stuff. Yeah. So I'm also going to be including new kanji for this. For example, here's a new kanji. This is mado. You know what mado means? Window. Yep, window. Okay, so let's read this. Uh, you can just you can read it either all at once or read each sentence one at a time. I personally would recommend reading each sentence one at a time. Uh, oh wait, I'm going to first uh stop the recording.